Hello again everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to structure the links model to assist your vocabulary instruction. Um, the links strategy is a model that transforms a potentially weak link between a word and its definition into a chain of very strong links. Um, this model is really dependent on students making relevant content that's going to connect the definition to the word. So all content areas, just like the Freire model, will have the structure um, for easy review. And it all has five parts. The first being the term, which is teacher provided. It's generally a term that most likely most students may not have heard of before. The next thing you're going to want to focus on is that reminding word or familiar word. You can think of this as almost as a synonym. Um, that will work for some words. For others, it may not make sense, um, depending on how new this word is to the student's vocabularies. You may need to kind of unpack the meaning of the word, the definition of the word, and find a similar word or a minding word to help support that new terminology. And I'm sure that'll make sense in a few moments when I show you a couple of these examples. The next square is a linking story, and that's basically a story that a student's going to create to assist them with remembering the word. And this story does not have to be factual, it can be really goofy or funny or untrue, just something that's going to assist them with remembering what that word ultimately means. The next is they're going to create, or maybe go on Google, um, search, find a, an image that correlates to that story or close enough to that story. Um, this is going to be on Google Docs just for ease of sharing to not only you all but also the students. So I do think that Google search is going to probably be the reservoir of resources that the students are going to pull from, but um, students can also draw using the um, insert draw um, aspect of Google Docs. And lastly, a definition. This definition can be from the, the textbook or the curriculum framework, or you can engage the students in creating their own definition um, with the picture and story and reminding word in mind. That's obviously probably what we want the students to be able to do is kind of synthesize their um, knowledge from the model than just kind of giving them the definition. But again, you're going to have to look at that from your perspective and the, ch and the um, difficulty of the word and ensuring that they have the correct definition that's going to match the rest of these components. So moving on to a health and PE example, here is one. Uh, the term is aerobic and the reminding word that I kept thinking about is, is oxygen based. Um, so the story that I came up with, or the sentence, is when I was running up and down the stairs, I was breathing faster, which helped me keep going. And here is the image that helps link my story, which helps me link to the new vocabulary term. And then here is a definition that um, I came up with with a little bit of research and also with the uh, story and new term. Let me show you another example. Here is science. Again, everyone will have that same links uh, strategy model to reference. This one is on centripetal force. Um, the reminding word, and, and I will have to be honest with you, this did take me some research time. So uh, again, think about using these models as a means for students to research and engage with very deeply with your content knowledge instead of just rote memorization or writing down definitions so forth and so on. So the reminding word for me was center. Here's my story is when I go through a loop on a roller coaster I'm always pulled out of my seat. The linking picture and for this, quite honestly, I had to look up a definition, um, a physics-based definition, because I wanted to ensure I had the correct thing, and that was force that makes things move towards the center of something when they are moving around that center. So again, 
for some of these words that are really specific um, to the content and may be brand new to the students, you may need to guide them a little bit more explicitly. Where other words where um, they can maybe relate them to other um, or to, the, to their vocabulary banks may be a little bit easier or appropriate to have them engage with it a little bit more independently. They w there will be face-to-face -face, um, developmental opportunities for the links strategy as well coming in the very near future, also with a question and answer um, session as well. We hope you enjoyed this video and we're looking forward to hearing about your experiences with it. Have a great day.